Have you ever been teaching starters or starting systems? And you take the starter, you put it in a vise, or it's on the bench, you're trying to bench test it, or maybe your students are, and they're there with a set of jumper cables and you see that starter and it's right on the edge and it's gonna jump off and it's dangerous. And then you've got the students there with a screwdriver and they're jumping across the terminals or they've got a pair of booster cables and you're always a little bit on edge. Wouldn't you love to teach starting systems in a way that's safer and easier? that you can leave it to your students to explore and learn on their own? Well, that's where our EM219 starting system trainer comes in. The starting system trainer is fully enclosed. We hook it up to a battery with a couple of alligator leads. And right off the bat, we have safety in mind. So instead of a fusible link, we've got a breaker. So even if your students jump across uh, the different terminals, and if they create a short circuit, we're protected. We're not gonna let the magic smoke out. We've got the starter enclosed in a plexiglass enclosure, but we still have access to all the test terminals that you're gonna be teaching to your students. So we still have access to the, the B terminal, the S terminal, and the, the terminal going to the starter, and we've even brought out a ground. We add to that fuses, test points for the relays, and we've got a clutch switch and the ignition switch, and then we add a fault box. So before we get too far in depth, Let's just run this thing up. Above and beyond all the safety aspects, we've done cutaways of all the different components in the starter. So we can see the sol solenoid moving. We can see the contacts in the solenoid. We can see the sparks that are generated there. We can see the plunger move, and it's gonna move the gear into the flywheel. We've got a planetary gear reduction. We've got the rotor and the stator, the permanent magnets, and we have the brushes and the commutator, all visible and yet it's still functional. And let's talk a little bit about the fault box because this is where some of the magic happens. We've got numerous different faults and we're not gonna name them all because we don't want your students to know what the faults are, but we have faults that will affect the starting circuit in many different ways. So I'll insert a fault right now and let's see if the system works. We can hear the relay clicks, but the starter does not engage. Now you can give your students a multimeter and they can go in with test points and find what's going on with the different circuits of the starter. So they can test, let's say the, the relay coil, they can test the relay output and because we have access to all the test points here, we can find where the problem is in the circuit. So the students can tell you, okay, that my problem is between the relay and the starter S terminal, for example. With easy access to all the wiring, we can do things like measure the starter current using an oscilloscope and an amp clamp. So if you wanna teach starters in a more safe environment, uh, you can find out more about this product on consolab.com or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.